Happy Friday, you guys. I'm Devin Howard. There's some crazy rumor going around that Anthony Davis faked an injury to get out of playing. I'm getting into the nitty gritty of that in just a sec, so click subscribe for the latest news about your favorite athletes, and then find me on Instagram at Devin Howard. AD wants off the Pelicans. That's a known fact. He was the focal point of some major trade talks with the Lakers that never ended up happening. He also told the Pelicans head coach that he would not continue playing for the team in future seasons. So that left a lot of people wondering what that meant for his game time minutes the rest of the season. Lots of money would be on the line if he suffered any type of injury. Well, people, he played. He played all right, and he also walked away injured. The player suffered an injury to his shoulder after attempting to block a shot from Nerland's Noel. He missed the block and fell to the ground on his shoulder. Ouch. He left the court, and shortly after, it was announced that he wouldn't return to play. And so here's a clip of him walking out of the arena with his arm in a sling. The injury occurred in the final second second half during last night's game against the Thunder, and after he sustained the injury, he left with his agent to get an MRI. A source told ESPN that the results didn't show anything too bad aside from some bruising, but still he's reportedly heading to Charlotte, North Carolina, the site of the All-Star Game, to get treatment and is still debating whether he'll take the court for the highly anticipated event. So here's the big issue. What does this mean for the Pelicans? A fan tweeted, Anthony Davis left tonight with a shoulder injury. If I'm the Pels and he's significantly hurt, my lawyers will be drafting a lawsuit to hand the league after they effectively made New Orleans play him. But want to know what's wild? We just found out that New Orleans has officially parted ways with their GM, Del Demps. <laughs> A wise move considering he basically trolled the Lakers during their AD trade talks. Guess the Pels just got really sick of it. Woj reported that ownership and senior management have been pleased with coach Alvin Gentry and his staff and believe players are largely responding in what's been a tumultuous stretch. He also revealed that ownership was livid with Anthony Davis for leaving the arena during Thursday's game. Yeah, let's get back to that injury really quickly. The timing of this bruised shoulder is pretty suspicious and fans are questioning whether or not AD's pain is really legitimate or just a way for him to get out of playing for the rest of the season. Yeah. <laughs> now look, I'm not the type of person to immediately question if a player really got hurt. I like to believe the best in people, but it all seems a little too convenient, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Fans took to Twitter right after he left the court last night to call out the athlete on staging the incident. One person didn't waste any time pointing fingers, saying, fake ass injury from a fake ass player. Like I said in the past, get out of NOLA, our city deserves better than you. Another is worried about what Anthony will do to the team he's traded to. They wrote, okay, it's official. Anthony Davis is injury prone and I do not want Boston to trade Jason Tatum for him. The general feeling here though is that the injury was fake and AD wants to rest up and not finish out the season and people are not happy about it. I'm dying to know if AD will be returning to play in the future and if he'll do his thing in the All-Star game on Sunday. To be honest, without him playing in Sunday's game, it sounds a lot less exciting than I had hoped. The Pelicans are heading into this weekend in a state of disarray. We'll see how they recover from this. Okay guys, lots to talk about here. Were you stunned to find out Dell Demps was fired? Who will become the new Pels GM? And is Anthony Davis faking this injury or could it possibly be legit? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments and then make sure you click subscribe.